In this video, we'll be showing you how to unzip files and send them to Snowflake. Let's dive in. We're gonna start this video inside of our Shipyard Fleet Builder. And the first thing we need to build before we get into our unzip and Snowflake task is we need to use a Google Drive uh, blueprint real quick to download a file from Google Drive that we can then unzip. So let's, let's, get it, let's do that real quick. Uh, so Google Drive, we're gonna download the files. Um, you can see it pops up with an authorization guide for us and puts a fleet in, or puts a vessel into the fleet for us as well. I'm going to close authorization guides. Uh, we'll name this file download zipped file. And then our dit, we have our soccer underscore data dot zip. That'll be our zip file that we're going to unzip in just a moment. We're going to need our service account from Google. Paste that in there real quick. Um, and that's all we need to do to grab that file from Google Drive. Okay, so now we're good to go ahead and unzip that file. Uh, so if you search in our blueprints under file manipulation, you'll see that we have decompressed files. I'm gonna click that, uh, name this vessel, unzip file, drag it up there. Um, we're gonna have, we have zip for our compression type. Our local file name is soccerdata.zip. Uh, we can leave the rest of this blank here. Uh, it'll, it should be able to take care of that filling those in for us. Connect those together. So now we have our file downloaded from Google Drive. That's our zip file. Uh, we have a we have a vessel that's going to unzip that file for us um, and pull the files out of that. Uh, so now we want to go ahead and upload those to Snowflake. Um, so we have upload CSV to table here. I'm going to grab that uh, and just we're going to fill out our information here. Our, our uh, Snowflake username our Snowflake password, our account name, the warehouse we wanted to go to, uh, the database that we wanted to go to as well, um, the schema, put it in Snowflake video, um, and then our file name down here. Um, so our file name here is gonna be the files that are inside of that zip folder. So I have two files, I have SPI underscore global underscore rankings dot CSV that you see on the screen now. Um, and then we also have matches latest that we'll grab in just a moment. Um, and then folder name, we have soccer data because whenever it unzips the file, it puts it into a folder of the of the zip file's name. Um, and then the table name that we want it to be called inside of uh, Snowflake is soccer rankings, and we'll keep it as a pin data. Okay, so that's going to take care of the first file that's inside of our uh, inside of our zip folder. Uh, so we want to do the same thing to our second file. So what we're going to do is go back to our Snowflake blueprints. We're going to upload CSV to a table. Um, do our second one here, uh, the same thing, fill out all of our information here. Copy the password, account name, warehouse, our database, our schema, our folder name, the soccer data, our file name this time uh, is going to be spi underscore matches underscore latest dot CSV. And we're going to call this file soccer matches or take this table on soccer matches inside of Snowflake. We'll connect that one as well. So you can see we have a vessel to download the zip file from Google Drive, a vessel to unzip the file, and then two vessels that are going to send those two files to Snowflake as tables. Okay, so we can go ahead and name our fleet. Uh, so we'll name this file manipulation to Snowflake. Okay, so now we can click save and finish. So now this is going to take us to a page telling us that the fleet has been created successfully, like you see here, and we can we can click run your fleet. Um, so what this is going to do is it's going to set up an on-demand run for our fleet inside a shipyard. It's going to take us over to the fleet log page that you see here. Um, there's two other ways that you can kick off fleets inside a shipyard using our triggers. You can use our our scheduling trigger. That's going to you're able to schedule fleets based on uh, hour, on minutes, uh, on days, on months, on weeks. Uh, and you can, we also have an API trigger as well so that you can you can set these fleets off the run using an API call. Uh, so you can see inside of our fleet log, we have a Gantt chart here in the middle of our page along with some information on the top. And we have a table down here that's gonna show the same information as the Gantt chart, but just in table form. Uh, you can see our download zip file vessel is already done because it's a green bar here. I can click into that and it's gonna show uh, the information that we put in, uh, the inputs that we put in here, uh, one, lines two through nine. Um, and you can see that the uh, service account that we put in for our Google is hidden because it's a password inside of Shipyard. Um, so, you know, someone from your organization that shouldn't be seeing the information won't be able to just go to your log and look at that because it's hidden. Um, and you can also see that soccerdata.zip was successfully downloaded to that folder here inside of Shipyard. 
Um, so if I go back to my vessel log, you can see that the file has already been unzipped here. And our two vessels that are uploading the tables into Snowflake are, are kicking off as we speak. Um, and so those are running as well. Um, we can see down here on the, on the bottom of our page, you can see that it's also updating in real time as well with a duration and the billable runtime as well. And when it was last ran, um, you can see that this first, uh, the first vessel is done. I can click into that and you can see that um, that file was successfully uploaded the soccer to table soccer rankings. Um, and you can see this one's still running and just finished. And this table is up, uh, um, uploaded to soccer underscore matches. So now if I go into Snowflake, we can look, we can look for those tables. Uh, you can see under Snowflake video, you can see our soccer matches with the schema here um, and the soccer rankings with the schema there for those tables. So that data has been uploaded into Snowflake. Uh, so in this video, we took a file that we downloaded from Google Drive. We unzipped the file and then take, took the files that uh, took the unzipped files and uploaded them um, to Snowflake as tables. If you have any questions about this solution or any other potential solution, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. You can go to shipyardapp.com to start building powerful workflows just like this for free. Want to see us tackle more solutions? Check out these related videos.